My Brother Charlie, written by Holly Robinson Pete and Ryan Elizabeth Pete. Pictures by Shane W. Evans. We've always been together, even in mommy's tummy, my twin brother Charlie and me. We still share lots of things, curly hair and brown eyes, how much we love hot chocolate with marshmallows, our dog Harriet, rolling in the grass, music, football, and names that start with the letter C, Callie and Charlie. But being twins doesn't make us exactly the same. I'm two minutes younger than Charlie. I can stare for hours at the Big Dipper and the moon, and I love to talk. Charlie is skinnier and goofier than me. He hates math. When he looks at the sky, he finds jets and helicopters, and sometimes my brother gets very quiet. When we were babies, I pointed out flowers and cats and fireflies. I snuggled and giggled with Mommy on dark nights and told Mommy again and again how much I love her. But Charlie was different. He wouldn't play with me or kiss Mommy's cheeks when she hugged him. And he didn't say, I love you. Seems those words were locked deep inside my brother. Everyone told Mommy not to worry. He's just being a boy, they said, but Mommy knew there was something different about Charlie. I knew it too. As we grew older, Mommy watched Charlie very carefully. She and I could see he was struggling. Then, Mommy discovered that Charlie's brain works in a special way because Charlie has autism. It's harder for Charlie to make friends or show his feelings or stay safe. One doctor even told Mommy that Charlie would never say I love you. That made Mommy and me saddest of all. I have learned from Charlie that love doesn't always come from what you say. It can also come from what you do. And so we do right by Charlie. We love Charlie strong. We watch over him with the might of angels. We have to. When Charlie wants something, nothing stops him, even when it's dangerous. And there are days when it's hard to be Charlie's sister. Sometimes he can ruin the best play dates. Other times he seems so far away, like when he won't look at me or speak or play. I wish I could crawl inside Charlie's world to move things around for him and for me. I know Charlie wants to be in my world, fitting in, making friends, having fun and laughing. There are good times with Charlie too, when Charlie looks right at me and welcomes me with his smile. He lets me touch his face. He laughs when we lock fingers in a holding hands game. That's Charlie's I love you, said in the silly ways we play together. Charlie is good at so much. He knows the names of all the American presidents. He's a fish in the water. He has a special way with animals, especially Harriet. When Harriet and Charlie are together, there's even more I love you, said in the way only Charlie can when he gets Harriet to sit, run, or listen. Charlie's got a mind that tests things. Shoelaces, paper clips, apples, pine cones, and he enjoys sharing. He likes to show off his shell collection, his new sneakers, and how well he plays Itsy Bitsy Spider on the piano. Charlie likes to share how sweet he is and how much he cares about other people. When I fall off my bike or bump my head, Charlie comes running. He always makes my hurts feel better with the caring that comes from his eyes. 
Sometimes, when Charlie can find the words, when they unlock themselves from inside him, he does say, I love you. I will always remember the first time I heard him say it, so clear and kind, so Charlie. I banged my toe hard and cried. There was my brother patting my back, saying over and over again, don't cry, Callie, I love you. Charlie has autism, but autism doesn't have Charlie. If you ever get to meet my brother, you'll feel lucky to be his friend. He won't care if you have the coolest sneakers or if you're the best at sports. He'll just like you for who you really are. That's Charlie. I'm blessed to be Charlie's sister and to share so much. I count my Charlie blessings every day. At the very top of my Charlie blessings list is the love Charlie and I have for each other. Said in so many ways. Hey there, friendly readers. If you like what you see, please hit like and subscribe. And if you're feeling generous, please click on the button below where you can donate, or you can email me your own family-friendly animations, virtual field trips, guest teachers, history lessons, tutorials, or read-alouds for everyone to see, share, and be a part of the community. So please go to Storyjay Storytime, and I'll see you next time.